Thank you guys for tuning in. Today is May 6th, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today about the $2,000 stimulus check. Before we start, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am not a financial advisor. Any of my picks that I talk about in, my, in this further video, please understand that these are my, this is my opinion. This is what I think. You don't have to follow it at all. This is just what I choose. Today, what we're going to cover is not only the $2,000 stimulus check, but some updates with it, as well as some common questions that I've been seeing in my comments from my previous video, where I talked about how to triple uh, this, your stimulus check that you may have received through the CARES Act. That video will be found in the comments section, so for anyone who didn't get a chance to watch it, please go in the comments, click the link, and check it out. Now, uh, what we've been kind of seeing is, uh, for people who have been asking, you know, what do you do if you're on unemployment and, you know, July is going to come around and, you know, unemployment's about to get soaked up, what should you do? So if you're unemployed and furloughed and your business accepted, so your business or small business accepted PPP funds, um, allowing you to go back to work and you refuse, it will be considered that you voluntarily quit. And as for this job, well, I quit. So for those of you who aren't quite understanding that, if you you work at a company, you were furloughed, they told you that you can't work right now, you filed for unemployment, and then your business comes back around because they got PPP loans from the state, from state funding, and said, hey, John, um, I want you to come back to work. And you're like, man, I don't want to come back to work. I've been getting $600 a week. I got a $1,200 check. I'm chilling, I'm cool, I'm fine with what I'm doing. And they're like, well, you know, if you don't come back, you're going to quit. Um, you know, you, you're pretty much saying you're quitting. That's what that means. You voluntarily quit, which means when your employer refers, uh, reports back to the government, letting you, letting them know that you don't want to come back to work. Now your $600 a week is in jeopardy, which is not what you want to do. So for, to give you some more background information on July 31st, the $600 weekly benefit, which you receive through the CARES Act, expires on that date. So come July 31st, no more money, uh, which is pretty crazy. Um, and I can probably tell you right now, the job market is going to be absolutely insane and it's going to be completely depleted. Um, just so you guys can understand, um, when events like this happen, just like the 2008 financial crisis, things don't just go back to normal. Uh, this economy is going to take three to five years, in my prediction before it even comes back to being stable again. Which leads me to commonly asked questions. The first question, my job most likely won't be hiring back. Where should I apply to work that will be hiring? So here are some suggestions for places that you should apply to um, that is currently hiring through this and is continuing to hire and is actually producing at high volume and we're still making tons of revenue. Amazon, Walmart, Procter and Gamble, Johnson and Johnson, and Target. These are corporations that are not affected by COVID. Um, actually, COVID is actually ramping up their volume in which they're making more money. And regardless of what's going on, you can put an application and they're hiring right now. Um, and they're honestly paying more than their traditional wage, uh, being that they're you know great organizations. Second question. I don't want to work in a warehouse or corporation. What are my options? So some options that you could think about are contracting work. Okay. When I say contracting work, you can go do website development. Um, there's tons of websites you can use to, you know, uh, post your skills and give, put a resume about your skills like fever. Um, you could work in construction. So, you know, if you're really good with your hands, construction companies are always going to be hiring. Uh, there's constant new buildings that aren't just going to stop. Uh, just because of COVID, they may be paused, but the construction has to continue because there's deadlines in place, as well as anything that you could start up, you know, uh, becoming, a, becoming a small business owner. Now is the perfect time for you to go out and go, you know, do something, you know, go out and start your business, um, go out and, you know, start that candy stand or go wash cars, uh, you know, take pictures with people. I mean, there's so many different things that you could do right now to create supplemental income. You know, um, the best thing I always say is don't make excuses, just go, just go, go do it. Now, for those of you who have no knowledge at all, if someone dies in your family that received the $1,200 through the CARES Act, you're advised to quote unquote, return the money back um, to the government. 
Now, this is absolutely crazy, but uh, the federal government states that with wording inside of the CARES Act that if one of your family members is deceased and they receive the $1,200 stimulus checks or they're in process of receiving it, that you're supposed to return it. Um, that's completely unfair, unjust. I mean, if you look at the times right now, like there's <laughs> people really don't have any money and there's a lot of people that are suffering. So um, I don't quite agree with that. Um, the federal government is kind of working that out. So uh, hopefully that changes. There's two things I think that could realistically happen. One, I believe businesses that are cash flowing and profiting because of the virus should give employees pay bumps. Like I stated in a little bit before, companies like Amazon, Target, Walmart, um, these are just three corporations that I can think of right now, um, as well as hospitals. They're paying their employees a lot more money uh, during this time. Obviously, there's more volume, more stress, and then obviously the fear of contracting the virus. Uh, so if you're one of these people that is working in what we consider a um, uh, environment that is at high risk of contracting COVID, there's, you are not wrong by going to your boss or your manager or whoever runs that organization and asking them for a raise because you definitely deserve it and you definitely deserve it. Now we want to transition over um, to a segment that is really home to me. Thank you if you've been continually watching right now. Please stay with me. Stay with me. Uh, we're getting to a really good part. And I wanted to talk about some stocks that are not hot right now um, and some stocks that are hot right now. So some ways that you could also invest your stimulus check that you receive through the CARES Act or that $600 that you're getting every week. Um, you know, for those of you who are looking for ways to input that money to make that money work for you. So some of the stuff that's not hot right now is airlines, okay? Airlines are not hot right now. Warren Buffett, who to me is someone who I really look up to and I try to follow everything that he does and emulate him. Warren Buffett sold out of all his stocks at a loss. Now, this guy is the number one guy for talking about how he doesn't like to take a loss and he sold all his airline stocks at a loss historically over the time that he bought them. And what he's pretty much stating is that right now, um, airlines aren't gonna recover like what we think when COVID is quote unquote over, you know? Um, people are gonna be scared to fly, people are not gonna wanna travel, workplace, workplace transformation with how these big companies and big organizations are spending their money, they're not gonna put people on planes. So with that being said, you know, don't buy airlines right now, this isn't coming from me, this is coming from Warren Buffett, once again, I'm not a financial advisor. You don't have to listen to me. If you want to continue to buy airlines, please do so. I'm not telling you not to. Uh, this is just my opinion and what I think. Um, and then we're going to go to what's hot right now. So for one, we're going to talk about Apple, okay? Apple just released a brand new 13-inch MacBook Pro, uh, which is, you know, which is crazy enough, still flying off the shelves um, and is selling. Um, and Apple is increasing right now in stock price. And um, I definitely think, you know, Apple is a generational stock. I don't think they're going anywhere. They have so much cash. Their balance sheet is so rich. Um, their margins are insane. Um, Apple is always, you'll never go wrong for having Apple in your portfolio. A second company um, is obviously, obviously Amazon. Um, <laughs> Amazon isn't going anywhere. I mean, uh, they control about 70% of e-commerce online right now which is absolutely nuts and then third but last but not least tesla um tesla right now is flat out booming elon musk put out a crazy tweet saying that he believes the stock is overvalued i honestly think that's you know a strategic tr a tactic but the stock right now is trending uh variably lower than it traditionally is and even though that COVID right now is slowing up deliveries believe it or not the cars are still flying like hotcakes uh, so for those of you who believes in like the Amazon of the future, like I may believe Tesla is, um, that's definitely where you want to invest your money. Um, so thank you guys so much for being able to tune into this. Please make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'll continue to make videos like this uh, as this COVID, this COVID thing continues to go on. Um, like some YouTubers or unlike other YouTubers, I'm going to give you the straight facts. I'm going to tell you how I feel and I'm going to hopefully be able to relate to you so that you're able to do the best, the best things with your money to be able to succeed. Um, with that, this shirt, if you guys want a tee like this, uh, go ahead and, you know, shoot me a message in the comment box and um, I can make sure I can get you one of these um, as well as thank you to cheaphomegoods.com for supplying me with a lot of uh, hand sanitizers, mops, and uh, key essentials that I may need so that I don't have to go to the grocery store. So that link will also be in the comment box. Check them out.
Thanks guys, I'm out.